Kansas kids may soon have to get two more vaccines before they can go to school, and not everyone is happy with the idea. KS19 News reporter Alec Gartner takes us to the meeting where the change was discussed and passions ran high. People packed a hearing at the Kansas Department of Health and Environment this morning. Many were against the new proposal to add hepatitis A and meningitis vaccines to the list of requirements. It should be our informed decision between us and our doctor. I'm not saying doctors are bad. I'm not saying if a parent chooses to vaccinate, that, that is their freedom and their choice. Some argued that the diseases targeted aren't worth the possible side effects kids could get from the vaccines. The fact that we would, for the sake of one or two kids that have meningitis, put thousands of kids at risk for all kinds of long-term effects from the vaccine is beyond belief. And that's saying it nicely. It's actually tyranny. But a few people spoke in favor of vaccines, pleading with others that they are the best way to go. As my kids grow up, they're going to experience sadness and heartache, and that's just part of growing and developing. And I cannot shield them from all those things. But the things I can protect them from, like infectious disease, I will make that choice. Atchison Representative John Epley spoke at the meeting. He also works as a family doctor. Having seen the morbidity and that comes from meningitis, having seen the morbidity that comes from children that get dehydrated from hepatitis A, just the facts folks, just what I've seen, I guarantee you on balance it is for the greater good that we are here today.